Good morning, everybody. I have been missing you all so much, and I can't wait to see you again soon. In fact, we've been gone for so long, I'm sure a lot of you have changed a lot in the time that we've been apart. Some of you might even have had a birthday. How old did you turn on your last birthday? One of our friends just turned eight years old this year. His name is Daniel. This is Daniel. Can you imagine Daniel ruling an entire country and being a king at only eight years old? Most of the time we're talking about adults when we look at the stories in the Bible, but today we're gonna talk about a kid, a kid named Josiah. You say Josiah? Josiah was only eight years old when he became a king. Can you imagine that, being eight years old and ruling your entire kingdom? Now, Josiah had a choice whether or not to be a good king or a bad king. And the kings before Josiah, even his father, were very, very bad kings. They made a lot of bad choices and chose to do things completely different than the way God would want them to. So Josiah followed in the footsteps of that, and he could have easily become a bad king too. But you know what? Josiah decided to become a good king, and he followed after God and tried to do what he would like. Have you ever found something that you had completely forgotten about? When Josiah was about 18 years old, his servants found a copy of the law, God's word, that had been lost for a long, long time. Josiah read it, and you know what? he realized that even though he had been trying to follow what he thought God wanted, when he read the law, he realized that the people of Israel were not following its rules. He was so excited to have found this book, but so sad when he realized that he had gone against what God had wanted. Now, Josiah admitted his mistakes and he allowed the word of God to completely change him and how he did things. And because of that, it impacted his entire kingdom. We're lucky enough to always have God's word available to us, but how do we respond to it? Do we put it on a shelf and never touch it? Or are we like Josiah where we read it and we let it impact us and completely change everything around us? You know what, there are three things that I want you to do with God's word. Number one, read it. Of course we should read it. It doesn't do any good if we just stick it up on a shelf. I want you to make reading the Bible a priority in your life. When Josiah found the book of the law, he read it immediately. He understood the importance and significance of that book. Number two, do what it says. Reading it is great, but we have to take it a step further and actually do what the Bible tells us to. The Bible will teach us and guide us what is right and wrong and what decisions we should make. James 1.22 says, Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. This is like when we say actions speak louder than words. Anyone can read the Bible, but if it's really changing your life, you're going to do what it says. When Josiah read the book of the law, he did what it said, even though it meant big changes for his kingdom. Number three, share it with others. As soon as Josiah had the law, he began preparing a way to share it with the nation. Josiah understood that if he kept the law to himself, he could be saved, but if he shared it with others, then many others could be saved as well. And it's the same with us. The Bible is for everyone. If we keep it to ourselves, then only we know Jesus, only we can be saved. But that's not what the Bible is for. God wants us to share the Bible with everyone that we come in contact with so that all others can be saved too. Let's look at 1 Timothy. Command and teach these things. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. Now, I'm pretty short, and I've been little my whole life. So there were a lot of things that I felt like I couldn't do because I was too small. Or when I was younger, I didn't think I could do them because I was too young. I was always waiting for the chance to be a grown-up and be able to do cool things that grown-ups do. And, or I would think, oh, I can't do that. I'm too small. I'm too little. But that's not the case. Josiah was very young when he became king, and he was young when he found God's law. But he didn't let that stop him. 
Josiah stood up for what was right and what God wanted him to do. He found God's word, he read it, he did what it said, and he shared it with others. And you can do that too. Don't wait until you're a grown-up to read God's word. Don't wait until you're a grown-up to share it with others. And definitely don't wait until you're a grown-up to do the things that God wants you to do. Go and do them right now. No, no, really, right now. Go on, 